Hello everyone, General Incompetence here and welcome to episode 18 of this Egypt Let's Play on Total War Rome Remastered. I appreciate um, you all sticking with me through the botch job that was episode 17 where I didn't test my audio properly. I had to try multiple solutions, the video ended up watermarked, it was a bit of a shit show, so sorry for that. But I have definitely tested the audio on this one, so we should be all good. And we should be in for a pretty good episode today. We're kind of poised with the invasion of Greece beginning, so we're beginning our war against the Brutii. We are sending relief forces over to Atra to try and combat the incoming Parthians. We are building walls around Ataxata to, I guess, help defend ourselves just in case they attack again or they decide to loop back round. Um, we're going to be holding our ground here, but hopefully pushing out soon. Um, we have the stack assembling here near, uh, near Memphis, which we are going to decide what to do with. Um, but I also want to be a little bit more aggressive. I, I've been having a look at what I've got, and naturally I've had to divert quite a few forces eastwards but i also want to continue the war against the pontons and i want to be a little bit more aggressive there so i've been having a think about what i've actually got to work with and there's quite a lot now that we've destroyed the rebels i'm just gonna because i forgot to retrain them i think it's about time we actually push out with an army here we've got some generals that we're just not using they're getting old i mean that that's our faction air to be to be honest and he's gonna die fairly soon so perhaps um, a slightly younger general. We want to push and take Ankara. You know, it's about time we get, we're going to destroy that army there. So that'll all be fine. Um, but yeah, we just want to be a little bit more aggressive. So I think we'll take some of the units that aren't being used in Sardis, as well as some units here. We, the one thing we don't have anywhere actually thinking about it is cavalry. And I don't know. Oh, here we go. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to pop in some units there, and then we're just going to merge up these. Uh, where's the button to merge up? There we go. And we can pop in that afterwards, just so we've got a bit of cavalry when we move against them. So that is the plan. So let's let's get cracking and actually do it. So I think to be on... Oh, we've also got an army doing something over here. Where is it? Here it is. So that's all happening as well. Lots of exciting stuff. Um, but again, I don't seem to have any cavalry over here. We have one unit of chariots. Let's get another unit of chariots just for some anti-cav. So let's do that. Right, I think... How are we doing here? That's doing fine. That's all good. We're doing some retraining here. Although, it might be better to use some of these units and move. Once these are retrained, move them up to Sardis. That's a three, six, seven. How many units do they have here? Eight. Well, that's fine. Why don't we take our boy from here to here. Take these that have got upgrades. And then... Move these fellas in there. Take the archers as well. Oh, hello. Oh, he's rubbish. That's fine. We're not bothered about him. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. So that's a stack of 12. So we are going to need more men. We can take these. In fact, as of next turn, he will be retrained. So that'll be three units of Desert Axemen and another unit of Cavalry ready. Sire, so we just move onward. that up there. That's looking fairly healthy. Good. Can't get to him until next turn. That's fine. I mean, nothing can actually... Annoyingly, everything's just 100%. So it's just never going to improve the spy. A little bit frustrating, but that's okay. I don't... 75%, okay. Let's do that. And he's just gotten better. Excellent. But let's move him back centrally so we can see what's going on. Oh, hang on, that's... There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that should do it, you know. And how... One thing I also need to keep an eye on is the age of my uh, 
Oh, hang on. Yeah, we're recruiting there. That's fine. I haven't really been thinking about the age of my merchants too much. He is old. We are going to need a replacement. Now, we did send a merchant. Yeah, he's pretty good. Maybe we should just, like, recruit new ones. Where have we got really good merchant building stuff, things? I know what I mean. Um, we want somewhere where we've got a bazaar. That's not the one. That's not the one. What do we got here? Just a market. Do we have one anywhere? Okay, we do here. So, let's get ourselves another merchant. And I think we're ready to move on. Oh, I forgot we were doing this. Ah. Yes. Uh, run away. I think that that we are going to lose those ships. I great lord can't, can't, can't do that. That was silly. Never mind. Rip. Oh no, we're okay. We're safe for now. As expected. We are besieged. What are they doing? Can't quite see. Here they come. There's also a general right next to Attack Starter, which we're definitely going to... Oh. I mean... <laughs> Spartacus, their factionaire, and their faction leader, and some shit. I don't know what I've got in this army, but we, we're we going after this. We massively outnumber them. Like, massively outnumber them. Time to do some king and prince killing, I guess. They're going to bend over for us. We're going to stick it in, so to speak. Now, um, something to announce, uploads over the next week or so might be a bit patchy, um, purely because I'm really busy, um, both with work, staying with my girlfriend, so I don't have, you know, access to my computer and my setup, etc. So, um, what I'm doing, it's actually Saturday lunchtime right now, it's absolutely roasting outside, and we started the day at David Lloyd, um, just kind of chilling out by the pool which is really nice but I'm going to try and record as many videos as I can today but I also have more things to do today and tomorrow as well I've got um I'm busy tomorrow um I'm, I've got a county league tennis match which I need to play so I not might not be able to do much tomorrow either but I shall try I shall do what I can now um let's move back as far as we can I I have a feeling my reinforcements are going to come in from over here, but I can't quite remember. What does this button do? Switch to tactical map. Oh, not seen that before. Um, anyway. Okay, they're coming in from here. That's good. Right, well, that's, that's very timely. Unfortunately, a lot of it is trashy shit, but, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, and you as well. Spearmen, units group. So let's group all you up and put you here. In fact, I need to make sure that you're not all in. Units. 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 Run. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, everyone. I've just sneezed in your ear. And then behind that, we're going to have our units. bowman. Then we're going to have a longer line of Nubian spearmen. Get them to move quickly. Now, we don't really have cavalry, which is a little bit of a problem. And this isn't a particularly big general's unit. So although our chariots are super effective against their cavalry, they quite significantly outnumber us on all fronts. I don't believe I can actually hide this unit because it's a general unit. So, I'm just going to keep it back here for now. 
I do have a feeling that they are going to end up withdrawing, despite the fact that they are the ones that are attacking us. Shit. Right, okay. Put you here. Take you off skirmish mode. No, why, why can't I... Why do I not have a special ability? That's very strange. Right, archers. Come on, light them up. Right, let's sort this out. Plug up some gaps here. Together. Come on. Like that. Archers continue archering. Move you up here. Face you forwards like that. What have they got here? Just Eastern Infantry. Now I know that my archers aren't going to be super effective here, but anything is good right now. Right, hold the lines. Get your pikes down there. Let's move you over here, just in case we need to reinforce over here. They're starting to route, that's good news. I don't understand why I don't have a special ability unless because you're a reinforcing one and oh it's here oh fuck fuck hold okay they're just plowing in yeah they're just going for it Right, I've got them stationary. Oh, that wasn't very effective. Oh shit, that's actually my general's unit as well. Yeah, there he goes. What? God damn it. Wait, is he dead as well? Jesus. Right, come on, turn and face them. We should still win this. But this has not been... This is not our finest hour. Come on. Stop running away. Fucking useless. Right, okay. Come on. You go there. Oh, I forgot I got peasants. Great. I'm not going to do anything with them. Right. Archers. Shoot them. Okay, are they... What are they doing? They're withdrawing. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, I managed to fuck this up, didn't I? Shoot him down, or at least we'll take out... Okay, we haven't killed their king, though. They're getting away. Well... That was a shambles. An absolute shambles. But it is what it is. Whoops. I did my best. But what, you know, it's difficult when all your troops are just terrible morale. Right, clean up as much as you can. How do we do? Okay, we didn't lose that many, we just lost some important troops.
All right, that'll do. I think. Oh wait, no. Cavalry, wipe them out. Get them gone as well. There we are. Victory is sweet indeed. God. Well, we didn't succeed in killing their king, but we killed. I mean, Spartacus was the main one we needed to kill, even though he's the factionaire. He was the problem, and we got him gone. But we lost our own general in the process. And proof once again that the Nubian spearmen are kind of shite. But that's why we keep them. Because if things like that happen, we do need some troops. Like, if we just had peasants, we would have definitely lost that. They'd have just absolutely moaned through us. Right, ceasefire in effect. Settlement besieged. That's fine. And heroic death. We need another general. Do you really need to be in Palmyra? I don't think so. No, you don't. And that begs the question then. Um, do we assign a general to this force? Oh, come on. There we go. Look, we're not going to be able to get there in time anyway. So we might as well link everyone up together. And all go there together, like that. Now. Put you in there. Get some retraining done. Some desert Axemen, because we need to make sure that we keep recruiting up here. Uh, desert Axemen. Desert Axemen. And some more of that. Good. What are our announcements? Nothing important. Oh, of course. We've got a new merchant who starts off as a five. That's all right, isn't it? Happy bloody days. Right, where is he best? But 487. 531. Can't put him there yet because we don't know if we're going to be able to hold on to it. We just want him to make money. 520, but that's a long way to, long ass way to go. What about somewhere over here? 420, way. Hmm. Where was the highest one? Yeah, let's send it to Palmyra for now. Right. Ah, yes. Memphis. So, we are still bringing over our boy here. We are going to give back one unit of Nile Spearmen. We're going to give the army that unit put you here you'll link up next turn and be ready to go excellent okay oh yeah we've just recruited a beastie new unit of cavalry i'll have to deal with that shortly Pergamum, we need to move everything around from there. Syracuse, we've just got ourselves a sexy new unit of cavalry there as well. And we have our spy. My eyes are yours. Now, we don't want to throw it away needlessly immediately. 50-50. Gone then. And he succeeded. Well done. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, yes, we were going to move this guy, aren't we? I've completely forgotten that we were doing stuff with him. Uh, sure. He can die. And then... Uh, our chance of killing him are quite, is quite small. Okay. Before we do anything else, let's finish putting together this army. So we need the 
Desert Axeman. Move you over. We need the cavalry. What's left? We're going to get one more unit of cavalry there. Can I get Desert Axeman anywhere? Oh, we still need to retrain those. Mm, no, we can't. We might just have to proceed as we are, but that's okay. Let's get you into Ankara. That's where I need you. What's the chances that you'll open the gates? 56%. I like those odds. Hmm. Okay. What we build in and where Palmyra has just built its governor's palace. So let's have a look. What are our problems? Corruption is a problem. That will help. And that will help with our public order. Roads, we're getting crops. What's going on here? Not a fat lot. Um... Sure, you've got ages until you can grow, so we're not really worried about population growth. Like, anything that helps it is good. Pergamum, you've just added a ton onto your income, but you also have loads of corruption. So let's throw that in next. Nicomedia, that's good. How are we doing? Lots of corruption. We'll crank that up. Bring that down. And Syracuse. What to do next here? Because public order still isn't great. Hmm. What are the main drivers? Also, how much we got a fair amount of corruption, but culture penalty is a big one. That'll add 10% on and that'll help with our corruption as well. So let's just put that in for now and see where it takes us. And we're currently going to be making 15 grand profit, which is very nice indeed. Now I could do with a spy over here and I can't recruit one. Excellent. What can I recruit? Lots is the initial answer. Um, I think it would be good to have another unit of Nile Cavalry. Let's move this army forwards. Like that. See why you guys aren't happy so you can have some more peasants. Like that. You're still doing bits and pieces. I could do with some more ships to keep you safe. So let's churn out some ships there. Now, what shall we deal with first? We've dealt with this. Now, Greece. Let's begin the sieges here. And we will have... Oh. Not required. Okay. You say so. Maintain that siege. Now, what I'm thinking is, if we manage, if we take this real quick, we can perhaps shift our spy over, uh, so we can actually relieve the siege there, and see if we can actually get it in one turn. So we will come back. Actually, mm, hang on. I don't think there's any need to do anything special with that, I don't think. I think we all should, we should easily win. Um, we'll auto-resolve. We'll trust the auto-resolve. And that army's gone somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. But we definitely need to retrain. Now, can we retrain archers here? We can. So, I'm going to take all these units. Oh. Pop you in there to retrain. And these. There we go. And I want a watchtower over here. Yeah, there's the army. I've got a couple of bits left, but that's fine. 
I'm gonna pop you. Oh, wait, no. We're not gonna pop you back in there. Mm, should I? Nah, it's fine. Uh, actually, no, we'll swap in with the Thracian mercenaries. Thracian mercenaries have nearly done their job, to be fair. They're not going to be around for too much longer. You are fine staying as you are. I think before we do anything aggressive, let's relieve the siege here if we can. Hopefully we can without any help. What are we working with? So they've got Port Eastern. We should. Should we? Hang on. We got one, two, two units of Nile Spearmen. Some iffy units here. Yeah. They have got poor morale, so hopefully if, as long as we can pin them, we can use our what we've got in terms of cavalry to make them rout. Feel like it's a tale of two halves in, at the moment in terms of this campaign. On half of the map, we're going on the you know, we're, we're going on the front foot, and half the map we seem to be defending all the live long day. But I think on our eastern fronts, we're getting there. You know, we should soon be able to turn things around against the Parthians and the Pontans. I mean, it looks like they're starting to have their final throws of the dice because we are just continually beating them back, which is great to see. Ah, nice, some nice stone walls. Excellent. Right, you are the bulk of the infantry that I'm going to need for this. We're going to need to get the cavalry out. Come on. Okay, let's get the cavalry out first. Well, let's let the cavalry come out first, just so there's not an absolute swarm. I would rather have some more mobile troops out to begin with. Come on, everyone. Out you come. Good. Next, bring out what we have of in, in terms of infantry. Let's bring you out of phalanx formation so you can run. Just put you like that. In fact, we got light cavalry, two units of light cavalry, which I kind of want to work in tandem. So you send you over here. Why are you not joining the party? Alright, let's fast forward. And then we're going to bring out our general last. Okay. You guys get moving up there. General, out you come to play. We're going to need your help. Now, the one good thing is that they don't, I believe, have any missile units. So, whilst we only have one unit of archers and one, let's face it, barely... I mean, they're not really a missile unit. Um, move over this way. That will give us a slight advantage. Alright, let's move you up. Let's move you over here. Feel free to start killing them whenever you like. Thank you. In fact, if we can get in behind them, that would be good. Shooting them from behind. Certainly going to disrupt them just like that. Fact. How far? Oh, they're right at the edge of the map. That's frustrating. But I can still kind of get roughly in behind here. And that's going to confuse them. Let's move this line 
Mm, not too far forward, just in case they end up absolutely just charging at me. Bring you up here. Here they come. Spearman. Ah, here we go. Let's see you making a mistake. Oh, you should have skirmish mode on, but all the same. Right, let's sandwich them. Anytime you like camels. Fuck's sake. Come on. Move. No, what? What the fuck is going on? You fucking idiots. God damn it. God fucking damn it. This is what happens when you don't listen to me, you twat. Right. Oh, wait. There we go. Right, you guys, consider stop being pussies and get your camel asses back in gear. Oh, god damn it, they were drawing. They're taking the coward's way out. That's frustrating. Oh yeah, now you decide to come and play, dickhead. Well, that was rather disappointing. And you, fucks, did not listen to instruction. Look at them. You might look all fierce, but you're fucking weak. <sighs> but our arrow cavalry did a good job. You know, they, as soon as they got a charge in the, those eastern spearmen, they just tucked tail and ran. This is definitely one of the challenges of playing a f like a non-Roman faction, and that is just order and discipline amongst your army. And it is one of the drawbacks of using uh, having to use mercenaries as well. Sometimes they just don't listen. Try increase good commander. Good, I'll take that. We've already set that off, so that's fine. Right. Now, to business. I mean, there isn't really any point. I mean, it's... I know that... We're, okay, we are definitely going to exterminate that settlement. I know that we want to see wars against the Romans, but I mean, they, when they have one unit, what's the bloody point? What is the point? Right, we're going to need to lower tax, I reckon, because we're going to be destroying this. Like that. Corruption's through the roof, as expected. So we are going to be building a temple to Horus. Like that. Okay. Now. We're going to break the siege. Take our spy. Put you in there. 32%. Nope, not this time. Not this time. So we'll have that next turn. But we have our first foothold in Greece. We're about to get the second and Sparta will be shortly after that. So we will sweep through southern, southern Greece. What we could do, actually, with this is another spy, which we can't yet get. Um, what do we need? 
I don't think we actually lost any men. We didn't. Not a single man lost. That's good. So we're still fully intact. Mighty general. What I am going to do... Onward. Oh. Marching oh. Armies. Balls. Sire. March. Why can't I build a watchtower? I want a watchtower. I don't understand. Forward. Why not? Onward. They got a watchtower, I want one. Idiot. My Leaving the army. Try again next turn. Right, is there anything we can actually do on here in terms of the family? Like there's no there's no governors to be assigned or anything like that. There's nothing really to do. This is just swapping around followers. Don't really need to do anything like that. That's fine. Ah, yes. Our spy can go back in. Thank you. A couple of units have started. These troops are just kind of standing around, not doing a fat lot. In fact, let's go and have a look. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, they just have a lot of troops just kind of standing idle. Well, we shall keep moving. Orders, mighty general. The war continues. Sire, can we make it in? We can, but they will definitely besiege us as of next. Yeah, we're building that. Do we have stone? We have stone walls. Can we get archers? No. I'm just thinking, is there, is there any value at all? getting something with a decent missile attack like I mean even though slingers haven't got the greatest missile attack they've got a lot of they've got a, um, a lot of ammo to be fair they'd just be murdered on the walls anyway so we might as well get another unit of spearmen and just see if they'll just charge their cavalry at us blindly which would be great now how are we doing over here in terms of we got one more turn until we can retrain those and then I do want to start moving out. So what we probably should do is start the recruitment of peasants. This is getting close <laughs> at last. Can't do anything here for a little while. Petra, what's going on here? You're all good. I think, I think we're ready to move on. Right. Oh, they didn't lay us under siege, I don't think. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Right. They're, they're bringing them this way. Great. Great news. Well, we are going to need archers ourselves. So let's retrain these, then throw out a unit there because we're going to need to give these guys some archers as well as more just stuff to protect themselves. This army, um, put you in there. It's going to get us an extra 600. We'll put you in there for a start and then we'll look to move you on next turn to take out that army and potentially just come... We'll see what happens with this army here. Because if we need to, we can move an army down. We might still be able to keep up with the initial plan of Orders. moving onwards and upwards. Now, this is a little bit of a concern as to where you are going. Also, I kill to please you by your will. what are the chances of a... I reckon that's good enough to roll the dice on. Never mind. Right, coming of age. Who has come of age and where are you? Ah, we could do with the general down there. That's good news. I mean, you were kind of rubbish, but... Whatever. They're at war again with each other. That's good. 
Ah, yes. We have more ships. Thieves. Yeah, you're doing all right. You're about to get another public order buffer. We are still churning out troops, which is what I like to see. Mm, yeah, that'll do for there. We've got some chariots there now. That's good. Damascus, yes, more of that. Antioch. Um, mm. Desert Axeman. Tarsus. What do we recruit? Yeah, we might as well put in some more Desert Axeman. Hatcher is still not under siege, so we're going to throw in another... Actually, no, we don't need to. We don't need to. Seleucia, we're sorting. Pergamum. That's fine. Put in another unit of that. Tarsus did loads of retraining. Sa Sardis did retraining. Nicomedia has done some retraining. We'll finish that now. What's this? Oh yeah, the Thracians. Um, what was initially in here? You know what? Let's get some peasants because I want to move on with this army as well. In whichever direction we end up going. Okay, we have an army barracks here. Good. That's positive. What else can we get here? I feel like we probably should throw into communal farming at some point. Secret network. We don't really need that. I guess. We don't have anything in terms of archery range, so we could. You know, let's let's just actually give them some better walls. We never really invested in the walls here because we never needed to, but I feel like we're. Christ knows how many turns in now. It's probably about time. Right, we did cavalry stables. So what to do next? As always, that isn't going to do anything. It just doesn't. That does a little bit of something, something. Mm. I mean, it's slowly getting itself up ready to expand again. So ideally something that doesn't take too long. Let's go for a market. Why not? That's that's good. That, that's decent. Alicarnassus now has communal farming. But what else do you need? Now, from memory, weirdly... Oh, now it does do something. Okay. Ship right it is then. That's kind of made our minds up for us. Sardis now has a ship right as well. Now, what benefit... Okay, so that gains us 100. That's very expensive. Definitely some benefits there. You know what? We're going to get ourselves an academy just to kind of steady public order as well and reduce corruption. We've got our execution square here. Do we want to upgrade that again? Mm, not too much benefit to that. What are we... How are we looking in terms of public order? Still quite a big cultural penalty. Is there anything... Any low-hanging fruit that we could build something new? And repl replace that. Maybe like roads or communal farming. What does roads do for us economically? Okay, roads does a lot. We'll put some roads in and that will also stop the uh, cultural penalty that's currently there of the uh, existing one. Ah, uh, we finally have our walls. Good news. And we are going to want archery range as well. Uh, I mean, we did kind of want, also want the city barracks. Yeah, fuck it. City barracks. Susa now has its catapult range. Uh, we're going to put in... What are we going to put in? Hmm. Hmm. I would quite like an armorer. But I think in the grand scheme of things, this isn't going to be... Once we've taken out the path, once really, realistically, once we've taken out this settlement, we're going to not going to need Zeus at that much. So, let's have a think about trade and corruption and things like that. That could be useful. Mm. Mm. 
Mm hmm. Let's put that in. Actually, no. Let's put that in. No. God damn it. Uh. Rhodes. Screw it. Ah, Athens. You are going to need another one of those immediately. Good. Good, good, good. And we made some... Ah, this is a diseased army. Okay, good. Marius' event still has a happened. That is very good news. Now... Again, there's just no point. I'm so sorry to do this, but there, I just don't see the point. I don't see the point. Victory! Um... We're going to exterminate again. Ah! Plus four, po plus four bonus to population loyalty. Now that is useful. That is good. Once again, seem to have done pretty well in terms of troops. Now we are going to have to repair these. I think that... Okay, devastation is massive. But yeah, cultural penalties are really a big problem. I'd be interested to know. Yeah, we do need to get ourselves a ship right fairly quickly. But in the meantime, we need a temple to set. We are going to need to really sort out public order and culture stuff here. In the meantime... Even with the buffs that we've just got, you know, we're going to have issues. Right. Both of you in there. Good. Well done. I, great Lord. What do we need to build to get a spy? Is it a bazaar? Is it? How do we get a spy? I'd have thought it had been something on this uh, recruitment tree. Hmm. Can we get a spy here? Oh, it's four. Okay, so we'll be able to get a spy next turn. That's fine. That is fine. Right, this army needs some better cavalry. What cavalry do we have here? Down. Can I... Yeah, auto-sort that. Nile cavalry is always going to be beneficial. Now let's try again, shall we? Orders? I know I'm not going to be able to bring you back in one turn. Oh, balls. In place. I am such an idiot. You. Build a watchtower. Thank you. Oh. Well, you're rubbish. That's okay. Okay. Building that. I want to be able to move on fairly soon there. I am also... Ooh. Okay. So they're looking to land a, a wee little force here. That's that's sweet. That's cute. My cute that they want to get involved. Now. You are linked up here. Move the ships over. Oh, God. Sort that out. Right. Okay. Now. Where to send you all? We could send you over to Sicily and take out Lilibaeum. Because I think that would be a great, you know, a great thing to have would be the, this entire island. Because then we have a great staging point to start invading um, both mainland Italy or Carthage. I have no idea what's going on near Carthage at the moment. In fact... I'm half tempted just to send this spy up just to check it out. Oh, it looks like there's there's a lot of activity around here. Okay. Now 
Now, are we still at war? We are. Be quick. Our patience is limited. Okay. And we'll offer you that and map information. How about that? Surely you jest. Oh, okay. You're going to be a knob about it. And what about SPQR? Be quick. Our nope. patience is limited. Nope. Not going to let us do anything there. Fine. Fine. Be like that. See if I care. We have ships over here. We don't we need to evacuate. So that's that's fine. So we can actually bring we can meet up these two fleets. Cuz I'd just be a little bit concerned about these ships attacking this ships ready. and not being able to do anything about it. Let's put in one more of those. My lead. Move out. We're going to put you on here and the next turn we'll have one more ship. These will also, but oh, they're hidden. These will join up, and then we can decide where to sail it. Now, this army, we are going to have one more of you, and we're still doing some retraining here. It's just a load of Nile spearmen, really. I mean, I could just put three more in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put you here. One, two, three. In you go. Tidy that up. There. Okay. And let's pop a watchtower. We just need to keep an eye on what their faction leader is going to do next. Okay, that's looking fairly positive. I would love to be able to move on from this settlement as well. Let's put some peasants in there. And I could... Can he get... How quickly can they get there? And where can you get to? Can you intercept? You can. Okay. I'm just trying to do some calculations because I'd love to be able to take out Sinoch as well. Just kind of snipe out those two settlements, kind of leave them in the lurch a little bit. Let's move you over here. And let's get... You know what? I'm just going to move you here. Hope that you don't get taken out. Put a watchtower there. Move you back. And now you can go this way. Oh, what do we got here? The faction air. Okay. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I like that. So we're going to get some more peasants because we're going to move this army out. And look to take out Sinop. Yeah, that's what the plan is. We're going to have a two-pronged assault on the pontons. I like it. I like that plan. And that is where we're going to leave that plan, actually. So, as of next episode, we are going to continue our wars in Greece. Now that we have taken both Corinth and Athens, I apologise that we've not actually had any proper battles against the Romans yet, but I am very hopeful that will come soon. Um, Sparta is going to be most definitely our next target. We have this army here and we are going to purpose that army. We're getting together some forces here. We're going to keep a half eye on this Roman fleet. Um, we're going to be moving on from here as soon as we can kind of get public order in a in a good spot. Um, we do need to be careful about counterattacks when going after Masana. I, I do think I am probably going to move this army and bring it over to Sicily. I think that's probably going to be what I'm going to do. And we are going to do our best to, to really kind of stamp on the Pontons now. I think the time has come for them to be 
thoroughly dealt with. If I can I reach them next turn? Not quite. Not quite. So we'll see how that plays out. So if you enjoyed this episode, please drop the video a like. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And please do consider subscribing. So until the next one, see you later.